In this video, I want to break down how I created this really cool Ant-Man effect in Final Cut Pro. This video was inspired by Brian Primetime, I think is his name, without a doubt one of the best channels to watch if you're into Final Cut Pro 10. Basically, you just need two clips. The top clip right here, which is just you acting like um, you're like pressing the button, and then you need a clip of just your like scene. On a tripod, don't move it. So basically, shoot your scene on a tripod, don't move it, and then walk into frame, and then act like you're pressing the button. Basically what it is is you're masking yourself out and if there is no like uh, scene or there's no like background to your actual video if I just had one clip the background would just be all black. So basically take a shot of your scene on a tripod and then what you want to do is I already cut it up or I cut it up and then I just went over here to the speed button and clicked on hold which is just freeze frame and there you go on the back the scene is now freeze frame and now I dragged the clip on top of me basically clicking the button and then and what I did was as soon as I click the button so like right so uh, uh, right here like as soon as I click the button uh, it's not like perfectly uh, on sync but basically once I you basically push the button and once you press the button now you want to freeze frame it so this over here is freeze frame just like the bottom is freeze frame you want to then cut up the clip head over here go to hold and freeze frame because you want this scene the scene of you clicking on the button you want that uh, clip frozen and then you can start cutting it out so I'll basically I'm not gonna go through entirely like the step-by-step -step process because that would take a long time but I'm gonna try my best to basically give you an idea of how I went ahead and did, it, uh, did this so I'll just go ahead and copy this on top so as you can see there you go there is just the background it's just a a like still image of your actual scene and then I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this over here I'll get rid of the draw mask basically just give you an outline of how to do this uh, as you can see I, that's a great example right here. See, if there's no background or the scene is not a tripod, the background is just going to be black. So let's go ahead. I'll try my best. I know it's lagging a little bit. My computer isn't incredibly fast, um, so ma a large amount of masking can definitely slow down your computer. So that's always just got to keep that in mind. So basically, I'll try to get the step by step process. So, first of all, get a still shot of your scene, then get a shot of you basically acting like you're pressing the button. Once you press the button, you want to freeze frame that part. So as you can see right here, see it's frozen right. Once I press the button, I froze the frame. Then what I did was I went on to draw mask. As you can see right here, I cut myself out. Um, what you want to do is you want to head over to masks and then you want to drag the draw mask on to the clip. So there you go, that's literally what you're doing. You're literally just uh, cutting out yourself using a draw mask, basically via Photoshop, kind of the exact same thing Photoshop does. So I'll take out the draw mask a little bit and just show you a couple things of how to do it. And I'm not going to do the entire step-by-step -step process, but just to give you a bottom line of how I did it. I took the draw mask, boom, I dragged it onto myself, then I went ahead and I think I went to like 150. So once you're in, oh maybe even closer, it was like it was like 200%. So once you're in 200% or maybe 400% as much as you want it, um, you want to go ahead, head over to here, and then as you can see right here, you want to just cut yourself out. You're basically just continuing, you're just basically cutting your entire self out just like you would via Photoshop. And once you've done this around your entire body and you come back to the end, there you go. Now yourself has been cut out and the background, this background is disappeared. Um, it just depends on how many points you want. It all just depends on that. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll get rid of the draw mask. Uh, apologize for the speed on my computer, but uh, let's just go ahead and click back on draw mask. And as you can see, I will click on the draw mask and see that's exactly what I did. I slapped on a draw mask right here, put a draw mask on, cut myself out, and there you go. That's basically the first step, cutting yourself out. Then what, all, what you're basically doing after that is you're gonna go ahead and head over to the effects panel right here and see I keyframe the position. Keyframe the position and then I keyframe the scale. And then what I did was I did I clicked the right and left arrow, I mean the, the right arrow key and I went forward. And every time I went forward a little bit, actually I'll just show you right here to give you an example. Uh, clicked on it and watch the scale. The scale is at 100%. Next frame, 80%. Next frame, 60%. Next frame, 40%. 20 and then I just held it at 20 so that's basically what you're doing you want to click on keyframe scale all and then every single frame 
Uh, so you click on it, as you can see, then you just click on the scale and you drop it down by 10%, 15%, 20%, however small you want yourself to be. And then once you also want to click on um, position right here, and then I'll wait till the position changes. Uh, right as you can see the position now the uh, go back to the beginning show you watch this uh, watch the scale right here 100 percent 80 percent 60 percent 40 20 now it's on 20 now I keyframe the position so watch the position right here negative 32 negative 64 negative 96 145 194 negative 252 negative 283 and, and there you go that's it so it's basically what you're doing so i know this is kind of a long video and hopefully you hopefully everything made sense definitely if something didn't make sense go ahead and comment down below but to give you a general rundown you want a shot of your background on a tripod then you want to step into the frame act like you're clicking the button once you've clicked on the button go ahead hit the the freeze frame button and then on the freeze frame clip right here you want to scale it down slowly uh, once it's to once you're as small as you would like then you head over the head over to the position and lower down the position so it looks like you're getting smaller and then boom you're dropping to the ground it's a really cool effect definitely go ahead and try it yourself anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button i'm giving away a google home mini once i reach 1000 subscribers see you guys in the next one peace